Hey guys, so uh, someone asked me about finger exercises, and uh, I actually get that question a lot. A lot of people, they, they sell these little grip master things. Uh, I, I guess they call it a grip master, I don't know what it is. But it's a little mechanical thing with springs and you push your fingers down on it. And people ask me all the time, well, what do I think of this thing? And um, I guess if you're, you know, wanting to build up the strength in, in, in the fingers of your left hand, um, or which, whichever way you play it, but um, of your fingering hand, then maybe it's useful. I don't know. I've never used one. But I can tell you that it's not going to help you develop the skills that you need on the fingerboard. Um, it's totally different feeling that you have when you're playing the guitar. And if you really want an exercise to do um, to play the guitar, then play the guitar. Don't. These other things are kind of distractions in my opinion. Um, the other question, uh, so I'm going to show you a finger exercise today that um, I do with a flat pick. Um, you could do it, I guess, finger picking, and I'll do another video on uh, playing with your fingers as opposed to a flat pick. But in this case, we're going to play with a flat pick. Now, a flat pick is that. It's flat. And it's shaped like this. Now, this is a particularly small one. The ones I like to use are the Dunlop Jazz 3 uh, pickups, or uh, <laughs> picks, not pickups. Um, most folks use a slightly larger one, but really the only thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the tip of the pick. The rest is just something to hold on to. So whatever your preference is, it really doesn't matter. I would stay away from really thin picks. They make them in thin, medium, and heavy. Uh, I tend to use the very heavy ones because I like the pick to be exactly where my hand is. Uh, the thin ones flex too much. Uh, mediums are okay if you're if you want. Uh, in the beginning, mediums are probably fine um, because you don't want to play too hard and, and really be tearing up your guitar until you start to hone in those motor skills and you're doing exactly what you want to do, going exactly to the correct place that you want to go to. Um, so this exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to pick down up. We're going to use both directions of the picking hand because our right hand is, is moving down, up, down, up, down, up. And you can start by just working with the pick, working with the very tip of it on A string, pick down, up, down, up. Okay, and get comfortable picking using just the tip of the pick. If you notice most of the movement is coming from my elbow down, it's not this and the wrist, it's, it's my arm. Okay. Now we're going to add to this fingering. And fingers on the left hand are finger one, two, three, four. And we're going to line up one finger per fret. They should be curved. Okay. So you're coming down on the tip of your finger, right? And we're just going to, it doesn't matter where you start right now. Eventually we're going to move it over the whole neck of the guitar. But we're just going to start, say, here at the fifth fret. So one, two, three, four is going to play fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, right? Now with our pick, we're going to pick down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up. Then we're going to move from string six over to string five and do the same thing. Five to five, uh, string five to string four. Okay. okay. Now when we get up to the top here, we're going to come down backwards with four, three, two, one. Okay. 
Now, if you want to uh, stretch this exercise out, move up or down a fret, either way, do it all over again. So you get up as high as you can. Now, uh, remember in one of the previous videos, I talked about how important timing is. We talked about uh, pitch, time, and duration being the three elements that uh, define music. And uh, time and duration are both related to time, obviously. Time and how long you hold it is also related to time. Timing is two-thirds of the game. It's everything, actually. So the best way to execute this exercise is to use a thing called a metronome. And uh, in this case, I have a little electronic one. I believe the Guitar Tuna app that we talked about also has a metronome in it. Um, you may have to pay for it, I, I can't remember. Um, and you basically set this up to clock your beats, right? And here's 92 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, those are our beats. And then we're gonna do our exercise with the metronome. slow tempo, something that you're comfortable with, and over time you gradually increase the tempo and make it faster and faster and faster. You know, so you get... And gradually increase the tempo and make it faster and faster and faster over time. I'm not particularly warmed up right now, but... Uh, so, now there's nothing real musical about that exercise. It's just... Uh, it's just something you can do to kind of warm your fingers up. Um, I don't. Ex I, I wouldn't recommend that you dwell on that and do it. Um, you know, if, if you're OCD like me, <laughs> you don't want to like get narrowed down on that one thing and just be doing that for hours on end. Um, but it's a good thing to practice. Uh, kind of get your fingers warmed up. Build up that coordination between these two hands. Build up the right hand coordination, down, up, down, up, down, up with the flat pick. And also get a feel for having your fingers on the fingerboard. Okay? And that's one exercise that you can do to uh, help you gain a little strength and dexterity and develop those motor skills. Anyway, guys, uh, feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Up there's my ugly mug. Click on it, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you join me.